We have talked before about the possible impact blood type could have on your COVID risk. And now two new studies are adding more information. But first, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new study that might help ease your mind about the likelihood of being exposed to coronavirus on an airplane. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin, with holiday travel season approaching, many people will be flying to visit family and friends, even though COVID-19 cases are surging across much of the nation. But new results from a military study could give air travelers more reason for comfort. Cleared for takeoff? New results from an independent military study may provide a shot of confidence for air travelers. The military says 300 tests were conducted on United planes with mannequins simulating passengers, both masked and unmasked. Each experiment releasing 180 million air particles, that's equivalent to thousands of coughs. When seated with masks on, only 0.001% of those particles actually made their way into another passenger's breathing zone. 99.9% were filtered out of the cabin within six minutes. A positive sign while in much of the nation, the number of infections continues to soar. 36 states plus Washington, D.C. are seeing double-digit increases over the past week. Now to more on new research suggesting your blood type may affect your risk when it comes to COVID-19. Two studies published Wednesday suggest people with type O blood may be less affected by COVID-19. Danish researchers sampled almost a half a million COVID tests and found people with other blood types were more likely to test positive than those with type O. While a second Canadian study found people with O or B blood appear to have less severe symptoms. Even finding of the 95 critically ill patients involved in their study, those those with A and B type blood were more likely to require dialysis and be put on a ventilator. Now, it is really important to note that there is no evidence to suggest that any blood type is either totally protected or cursed, but there does seem to be mounting evidence that blood type does have an effect. It's interesting information, but what can people do with the information? Well, you know, that's just the thing. Nothing really. You can't change your blood type. Yeah. And the effect on risk is just not large enough to even suggest at this point that people with certain blood type take different precautions. Frankly, this is more of just an important piece of information to help understand possible genetic and other mechanisms for why people develop more severe disease. Yeah. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.